We are back. This is the VM Vlog episode three. Um, I just got done playing the Los Angeles Rams, my old team. It was crazy, it was, it was emotional, but I had fun. And me visualizing the game, all I thought about was positive things. Uh, just because you think about positive things doesn't mean that positive things may happen, but I never envisioned us not having success, my team not going there and winning. It just never crossed my mind. Even though that could have been a possibility, I just um, choose to live on the positive side, man. And so far, it's just such a great stadium for me. And, you know, it's the best stadium in our league. It just felt so weird, like, going back there. But at the same time, I wanted to win. And I'm facing my brother. It's just like facing your your little or your older brother in a football game. Like, you love, you love them, but you still want to go out there and win. And that's just how I felt, man. I wasn't nervous before the game. I didn't have any, like, nerves. Which, every time I play in SoFi, now I think about it, I really don't even get nervous at that place, man. It's just such a it's such a great place. It's the best stadium in our league. I say that again. I started warming up, um, and then I noticed I was on the wrong side of the field. I was warming up in the exact same spot that I usually warm up at. That's when it really hit me, like, I'm on the other side now. Like, you know, it's two different sides, man, and I'm over here. And that's where it really just hit me. And it's not a bad side to be on, you know. Josh Allen went off, Diggs went off, the defense went off. We had seven sacks, 15 quarterback hits. We started the series off, you know, we had the first good good two plays, and they converted on third down. You know, we pushed the ball. They, they had a good play on their first down, and it was second down again. The rush before I had got my sack, I felt like I was just too much up the field. I felt like he was just pushing me by. So I was like, man, let me just try to speed the power. And boom, I tried to speed the power. Boom, I hit him. and. I just felt so much space in between me and him, and I immediately just tried to take advantage of that space. And when I got back on him and I kept moving my feet, Matthew Stafford was right here and I was able to just reach around and grab him. And it was good to have the first sack of the NFL season. And it felt good to have the first sack as a Buffalo Bill and to have my first sack on my first drive as a Buffalo Bill. So I didn't expect to have a sack the first drive, but I did envision it. I'm not gonna lie, I did envision me having a sack early on on the first drive. So, it's cool to like think about that and hope I get a sack on the first drive and it and it, and it actually happened. That felt good. You know, all your nerves and everything just goes out the door. Even though I wasn't nervous, but it's good to know, okay, I got the sack out the way, now I can just play. You know, we start playing football and you know, it's a, it's a, it's a hard fought fight. We going to halftime, 10-10. Uh, and my message to everybody was- Don't blink! Don't blink! Hey, don't blink! Don't blink! And uh, I've played in a lot of these uh, these high stress games. I've played in Super Bowls, played in big games during the season, playoff games. And the one common theme that I like to tell my teammates is Don't blink, don't blink, don't blink. I didn't know I was saying it that much. I was just I just wanted to prove a point of not blinking. Because in a championship fight, you know, they're gonna throw punches, we're gonna throw punches. But you don't wanna blink and get slept with a haymaker and the game be over with. So that was my message to the guys is don't blink, don't blink, don't blink. We come out in the third quarter. Then my second sack, you know, I had I had a chipper outside and I was just like, bro, let me get past this chipper. I was able to get a good uh, jump on the chipper. Then I had a, a true one-on-one -on -one with the tackle, even though it's kind of like a bootleg one-on-one -on -one because I'm so far up the field off the chip and I still got a guy in front of me. I was able somehow to just to shake and slip underneath when I dip. I just felt free and I just was able to curve back around. And when I curved back around, Matthew Stafford was right there. And I reached and I tried to get the ball out. You know, the ball didn't come out. I wish the ball would've came out. That would've been perfect. Like I said before, man, it just feels good to go out there and do your job. I was mic'd up for the game. And I do not like knowing that I'm mic'd up. So I gave Derek and the guys over at the Buffalo Bills uh, media staff, I gave them my consent. Way in the off season, I said, hey, if y'all ever want to mic me up, just do it, don't tell me. Because if somebody tells you that you're mic'd up, you're either gonna say too much or you're not gonna say enough. And I just wanted to be natural, man. I don't wanna, I just wanna be me, man. I don't wanna be out there like saying random shit. Like I just, I just wanna be out there and I just wanna be me, man. I wanna be free. I don't, I like to have um, as many stresses off of me as possible. Like I don't wanna know I'm mic'd up. I just wanna go out there and play the game. And you guys have my consent to capture that, that footage. It was cool to see, like, bro, on the field, I don't say anything. It doesn't matter what the situation is. I don't say anything on the field. And 
get on the sideline, like I, tr I try to encourage my guys to try to keep them in the fight. We got a whole game, championship fight. We got a whole game, we got a whole game. Water, we got a whole game, guys. Snap count, bro, get that snap count, use your limp, bro. Try to play bully ball, you got it, bro. I believe in you, bro, take over, bro. Take over, bro. And I feel like that is my that is my role to encourage the guys and keep them on the task at hand, which everybody's probably on the task at hand, but you want to hear your leaders and your captain speak, man. And, and um, I've grown um, into that role and I know how important that role is. And I really enjoy that role, you know, really amping up my guys, getting my guys ready to go. Yeah, man, the Josh Allen stiff arm was was crazy. And you know, that's my guy, bro. Like that was my guy that he stiff arm. Like his lock was right down from mine. Like that was my guy. Like I'm not, you know, throwing any any hate on my guy or anything like that. Um, but it was just a great play by Josh Allen, man. And I and I kind of saw it coming when I saw Josh bow out to the left to try to get the first down. And he's so big and he's so long. That stiff arm, bro. He stiff armed him and he didn't even touch him. Like Josh Allen could have stayed up and kept going if he really wanted to, but he was just all about the first down and that's a game that I always hold close to my heart, man. And to go out there and have success and to go out there and do your job, man. There's nothing more special than that, man. I love the Los Angeles Rams. I love Aaron Donald, Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cub, Coach McVay, uh, Coach Raheem Morris, Coach Henny, Coach Stad, Leonard Floyd, Greg Gaines. Man, everybody, bro. And like I said, man, I love those guys. I miss those guys dearly. Um, but now, you know, I'm a Buffalo Bill. Yo, know man, man, we having fun, man. Buffalo, here we come, baby. Everybody make the plane do backflips on the way home. Ah! Um, we want to know with a 10 day break, 11 days really, but 10 day break, got a lot of time. And I got to bring my son to the facility for his very first time, which I thought was cool, which this is something I've always wanted to do, man. I'm all, I always saw my teammates bringing their kids into the locker room. And, you know, if I was only one and some change, like, and to have him in the Bills locker room, this is footage that I can show him when he's 21, when he's 18, when he's 12. Like, it was cool, man. That, that was for me. No, not necessarily for him. That that was for me, man. It was a special moment to have him at the Buffalo Bills facility or around coach and you know in the weight room while I'm working out. And thanks to the Buffalo Bills too, man. Like it's just so dope to, you know, have a team support you and your family the way they do, man. And it was it was a special moment for me. Hey guys, I got a new segment for you guys. I got the VM vlog, and I'm always trying to find ways to interact with my fans. And this is a cool new way to do it. You can call this number, 855-ITS-VM40, and you can leave a message. And I'll play the message over and I can respond to you whatever uh, voicemails that you leave. And I might not respond, I might just play the voicemail that you leave. It's a unique, uh, you know, add on to, you know, my vlog. And even though that I might not respond to it, I can put it on the vlog and I can just hear all the fans' thoughts about the game, positive or negative. I just thought it was a cool new segment that I can add to my vlog, man. So if you guys want to leave a voicemail for me, number is 855-ITS-VM40. Check it out. Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP. Von Miller. Von Miller. Von Miller. Von Miller. Von Miller. Howdy guys, I am Vaughn Miller, and this is the first ever Vaughn cast um, presented to you by Bleacher Report. I have this Bleacher Report podcast, it's called the Vaughn cast. And if you know me, if you really, really know me, you know that this is an area that I excel at. And I don't really like to toot my horn, you know, too much. But when it comes to streaming, like interviewing guys that I with, like interviewing guys that are my boys, like in front of people, like this is what I do. You know, I've had a lot of practice doing it. I have my, you know, my Twitch where I game. I'm not very good at gaming, but the um, the element of you know keeping the, the viewers engaged is just something that I've always been good at. And I think streaming and gaming is two different things. And when you can stream in game, that's when you have the the ninjas and the Nick Mercs and all this stuff. But you know, I'm just a streamer. I'm an entertainer, and I love to play video games. And this Bleacher Report podcast, the podcast. It's just a great fit for me. Um, they came in and they decked out my whole um, office space. Got a huge upgrade. You know, my computer is my computer has already been crazy. I need the best computer I could possibly have to have success in Call of Duty. Like this is how it is. Like got two graphics cards. You know, a dual SLI, water cool, and it all fits in to this Bleacher Report podcast. Um, 
I want to say thank you to Bleach Report for having me on this this podcast, the Vaughncast. It is something that is me, and I really enjoy it. You know, win or lose, uh, through success or adversity, man, this is something that I can do. And um, I'm just super grateful, and I'm super grateful to present this to y'all. And make sure you guys check it out. Look out for the Vaughncast every single Tuesday. And the first episode with Calais Campbell is out now. We talk about all type of things from, you know, the hit on Michael Parsons, the Lamar Jackson deal. And I just shoot the shit with my guy, man. He's helped me out in so many different ways. Shout out Calais Campbell, man. Make sure you go check out the episode. I want to say thank you again, man. I appreciate you so much for being on the show, man. You know, for Calais Campbell, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate Thanks, it. I appreciate it, man. For sure. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. You know, I had to watch the very first Broncos game of the season, Monday Night Football. And, um, you know, I was on Come On Man. Like, here, they're going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, it looks Lord. like he's got a puzzle piece on his head. Oh, maybe he's the missing piece for the Bills to get there. But Von Miller, come on, man. It's that new hairstyle. It was crazy. Like, bro, like, I, I've been having, I had, I've had this haircut for eight years now. And um, it's cool that, you know, it's cool that it's, it's getting the recognition that it does, man. And you got fans that's getting a haircut. Like, it just shows you, like, how cool Bill's Mafia is, man. You got so many guys getting their hair cut, man. Like, everybody, you know, loves it, man. I'm getting bullied, too, at the same time. So, Ed, so this could be, like, a lesson to the kids. Like, you know, everybody's not going to like stuff that you do. And you just got to, like, brush it off your shoulders. Like, for as much love that I get for it, like, I get hate for it. And I know it's just trolls online, like, but I'm not going to let that bother me. I'm not going to cut it off just because, you know, people said, people make jokes about it or whatever. Like, it's me. It has meaning behind it. Triangle is perfectly balanced on each and every side. And, um, you know, it, it, it really re represents uh, positive energy, especially in the direction that it's pointing. It's pointing up to my brain so I can be positive through each and every situation. Um, and it also uh, represents manifestation. And you all know what we're trying to manifest this season. We're trying to manifest the Super Bowl, we're trying to be the best leader I could possibly can be for. My teammates are trying to be a, a light, a positive energy for all of my teammates in this community. And I think my haircut just represents where I am in my life. It's all about enlightenment. It's all about um, evolving into a better um, you. And um, it's just perfect. Um, I'm happy to see like people get their haircuts. It is a haircut that everybody can get. Even if you bald and you got like a horseshoe, like the hair back here grows. So. I'm bringing haircuts back for the ball guys. Like, man, something that you could do, man. Like, it's just cool, man. You know, I, I accept me for me. Um, this is my hair. Um, this is how it grows. Like, this is my design that I came up with. And, you know, it's me, whether people like it or not, man. And this could be a lesson to, you know, kids. Like, you know, everybody's not going to be on board with the, with the shit that you do, man. And, you know, it, it feels cool, like, to have it and for it to get, like, you know, the recognition that it does, man. It was a Monday night football. You know, um, the very first game of the season, like people starting to get it now, like it's dope, man. I hope, you know, one of the little kids seeing this now, like y'all getting bullied, man, like just brush it off to the side. It's just how society is, bro. Like, it's just how people are. Like they they, they love being trolls, they love putting people down, but it's not gonna happen to me because I am so comfortable in my own skin. I've been wearing glasses my whole entire life. I've been a geek my whole entire life. You know, and I hope, the way I handle the situation, it helps somebody, man. I'm happy to be a Buffalo Bill. I'm excited for this, this Monday Night Football game coming up versus a very, very tough Tennessee Titans team from the head coach all the way down to, to the cafeteria and the janitors over there at, at the Tennessee Titans. I'm sure everybody's all tough guys and tough women. And um, it's going to be a tough one on Monday, and I'm super excited about it. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to um, this week's vlog. I'm DJ Sauce One and Done. Every Thursday, y'all check me out. And we out.